All right, people, come ride with me for a little bit. So I'm going on my lunch break right now. Yeah, I might as well take it because they do take it out of my out of my check every every week. So this is what's been going on with my car. I I tend to drive pretty slow whenever I'm trying to gain some. Um, hold up. Yeah, it's hard to break out of this habit, so I need to give myself like a few seconds to stop whenever um, I'm leaving the gate, right? I'm leaving the gate. So I didn't know the muffler was literally hanging from the car. And I was just like, I never, I never seen it do that before. So I don't have to really do it right now. It's going to take a while for me to break out of this, but um, before I had to like stop, whenever I would um, turn and get on like a road. That's why I like highways better. But anyway, um, as I'm driving, right? As I'm driving, I hear, I hear this, this, this sound that I can't ignore. And it's literally the muffler hanging. It didn't come off. See the guy, I had to call a trip away. I was literally at, at work. I was in the parking lot at my job. And that's when I realized, like, I got to get this thing fixed today because most shops, they're like, we got to keep it. We got to keep it overnight. And, like, I got work tomorrow. I don't got time for that shit because I'm, I'm pretty far from the job. So I'm just, I tell them, like, hey, I need to get this thing fixed. I don't know what it is exactly. I'm hoping it's not a lot of money. I'm thinking, like, all right, if it's $1,000, the most I'll spend, I'm not trying to go broke. So, um... I get called, so I had to pay for the tow, and I thought I called Triple Way. I'm pretty sure I did, and um, maybe I didn't. It doesn't matter, cause I'm going to work for that money back. That's why I, I managed to come to work. I was like, if I called out, let me just make make up for some time. Like I got four hours, let me just do those four hours. But I um, sweat right now. <laughs> I got new pants on and everything, and I was freaking out, cause I'm like, man. I know I'm like this price, but eight hundred dollars. I wound up only spending four twenty six for everything, all the expenses for the parts. I had to get a new exhaust, some shit I had to get done. I got to look at the paper, but in all, it was like four hundred and twenty six dollars for everything to get fixed. And you know, it wasn't really long. It was it was like like an hour, two hours at most. And then I had um, I had enough time to get to work because I I had um, originally called out. But the point I'm making in this video is this is why I, I really emphasize that men, we spend our money on things that we actually need, that actually have a value. Fuck these hoes, these prostitutes out here. Stop tricking off with your money. Stop going on OnlyFans. Stop going to strip clubs. Because when you are in a desperate situation like I was sort of a little bit, you need your money to work for you. Not no, no whore, no prostitute know anything fuck them because they're not there for you when you need help and my money worked for me and i didn't call no family i didn't beg online i didn't start no gofundme i had the money that i responsibly saved up and it wasn't a lot i didn't spend a lot of money I ain't gonna make i spend a fortune but the point i'm making is be responsible with your money i'm gonna say this again because it felt good to not freak out and and, and, and call for emotional support from family I'm at the point where I'm just like, yeah, shit happens. That's why you need some shit happen money. But um, sorry for all the ums and the, and the stuttering. I'm just surprised that it was good service. You know, they didn't do no fucked up shit to my car. And I'm gonna just, you know, learn from it. Because it was a minute, I was just telling myself, I don't ever recall the muffler going looking, like I never seen it like down like that. I never seen it hanging and i was like i don't know what the fuck is was that all about so um you know they did a good job because it sounds a lot better if y'all any anytime i do cars and my, my car starting it, it sounded a lot bad it sounded really bad like that shit was rusting man but i got it fixed and i'm saying this again make sure you spend your money responsibly and i'm gonna start i kind of messed up this rest of this month is gonna be kind of it's gonna be a messed up month because i got memorial day off but I'm going to start doing my full 40 hours so I can get them $500 checks and um, 
get my money up a little more. I mean, I, I took a little bit of a loss today, but um, it didn't like hold me. It didn't set me back too much. But I'm gonna get it back where um, I see I see uh, five figures instead of four. But yeah, um, yeah, my car is doing good. Cause somebody at work, they saw me pull in, making all that noise, and it felt. I wish I would have saw it. I was pulling in, and this dude that I don't really talk to, he looked at it and kept walking, and I was like, I gotta try to get this shit up the street or something. I drove it to the nearby gas station, and that's where they told it. And then I came back to work, and that, that I felt like a boss because I was like, I'm, I'm here to handle business, and I. And I did, in, 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 in sort of a way. But, yeah, that's how I spend my morning. And, yeah, that's about it, man. Just save your money, be responsible. And don't, um... Don't trick off, man. Find a woman that likes you for you. Like me, I don't really advise men to do this. It's a little heart-pounding. But um, go on Reddit, man. If you want to get your rocks off, go on Reddit and find some desperate broad on there. I'm pretty sure they'll give you their time. And just make sure that they um they don't they don't asking for any kind of monetary um gain, like any support financially, because that's how a lot of them um that's how you get caught up in in like arrests. Because a lot of the times those are those are cops. That's why I've never really messed around with people my own age because if you're trying to just get a little quick thrill and they always want you to pay them money and I'm like I'm not I'm not paying shit. Cause weird strangely enough, I was in that waiting room while they did my car. I was in that waiting room and I was looking at um like sex sting operation bus, like guys that are um arrested for underage prostitution. I don't I, I never try to do something like that like underage or of age but i'm just kind of curious this is just me i'm not the smartest guy in the world but don't you think if a girl is online selling herself and she's underage don't you think that's a setup why don't you come to any logic that that is not a real girl why would a 15 year old sell themselves online and you you actually think that's um that's not a that's not a cop. I want to get my location, but um yeah. If y'all want to see, I ain't I'm not bullshit. I'm not gonna get all my business out there, but um let me show you this how much I spent. Yeah, I spent four hundred twenty nine dollars today. And I did the towing through um, while I was in the in the in the tow van, and it felt good, you know. That's just my advice for men out there: be responsible with your money. Don't trick off, because you don't know when you need to use your money for something urgent like me. Florida for you if you heard that. That's Florida. I'm gonna get me some lunch because I'm starving like Marvin. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Freaking out over that damn car. Peace.